Have you heard about the Anunnaki? The Anunnaki are a group of deities from the ancient Mesopotamian pantheon, particularly associated with the Sumerians, Akkadians, Assyrians and Babylonians. They have been the subject of fascination in various fields, from mythology and archaeology to alternative theories about human origins. Here are some interesting and lesser known facts about the Anunnaki. The name Anunnaki is thought to derive from the Sumerian words Anu, heaven, and Na, descended, meaning those who descended from the heavens. Anu was the Sumerian sky god and king of the gods. His offspring or followers, the Anunnaki, were believed to be intermediaries between the gods and humans. The Anunnaki weren't just a single class of deities, but included gods of different ranks. They were believed to judge the fate of humanity, deciding who would be granted favor or punished. In various texts, they are also associated with controlling aspects of nature, like the rivers and the earth. In some myths, particularly from later Babylonian sources, the Anunnaki were connected with the underworld. They were considered judges of the dead and were believed to dwell in the netherworld where they ruled over the fates of souls after death. They were associated with Ereshkigal, the goddess of the underworld. In modern times, the Anunnaki have been the focus of various speculative theories, especially due to the work of writers like Zechariah Sitchin. In his books, Sitchin interpreted Sumerian texts in a way that suggested the Anunnaki were ancient astronauts, extraterrestrial beings who came to Earth and genetically engineered humans. These ideas, although largely dismissed by mainstream scholars, have influenced popular culture and spawned a genre of conspiracy theories about ancient aliens. The Epic of Gilgamesh, one of the oldest known literary works, includes references to the Anunnaki, in this text, they are depicted as divine judges who decreed the great flood that destroyed humanity, paralleling the flood story found in various ancient cultures. This shows their role in determining the fate of mankind in Sumerian and Babylonian cosmology. The Anunnaki are also linked to the myth of the Tablets of Destinies, which are believed to have been inscribed with the fates of all things and possessed ultimate power over the cosmos. In the myth, the god Enlil was the keeper of these tablets, but they were once stolen by Tiamat, the chaos goddess, which led to a cosmic battle. The Anunnaki had a hierarchical structure. Higher-ranking deities like Enlil, Enki, and Nin Hursag often led the pantheon, while lesser Anunnaki served under them. Enki, in particular, was a god of wisdom, magic, and creation, often involved in human affairs, especially helping humans survive the Great Flood. The concept of the Anunnaki influenced later mythologies, including the Assyrian and Babylonian pantheons, and even aspects of later Abrahamic traditions. Some scholars suggest that stories of the Nephilim in the Hebrew Bible, who are described as the offspring of divine beings and humans, may have parallels to the Anunnaki myths. The Anunnaki were worshipped in grand temples, especially the ziggurats, massive terrace structures built across ancient Mesopotamia. The ziggurat of Ur, for example, was dedicated to Nana, the moon god, who was considered one of the Anunnaki. These structures were believed to be a link between heaven and earth, much like the Anunnaki themselves. The Anunnaki are central to Sumerian creation myths. One of the most famous stories involves Enki and the creations of humans. According to this myth, humans were created by the Anunnaki to relieve the gods of the burden of labor. Enki molded humans from clay and imbued them with life, a theme that appears in later religious texts. Some alternative theories link the Anunnaki with ancient knowledge of astronomy and astrology. Sumerians had advanced knowledge of celestial movements, and some theorists speculate that the Anunnaki imparted this knowledge to humans. The Anunnaki themselves were thought to be associated with certain stars or constellations. While the Anunnaki are a prominent feature of Sumerian myth, there is debate among scholars about whether they were actively worshipped as individual gods. In many cases, 
they are referred to collectively rather than individually suggesting they might have been more symbolic figures representing the will of the gods or cosmic forces rather than distinct entities worshipped in their own right. The Anunnaki continue to captivate both scholars and enthusiasts of mythology and their legacy is still very much alive in modern interpretations of ancient human history. The Anunnaki, as described in ancient Mesopotamian mythology, are not considered real in the sense of being actual historical beings. Rather, they are mythological deities, much like gods in other ancient religions such as the Greek or Egyptian pantheons. Their existence is part of the religious and cultural beliefs of the Sumerians, Akkadians, Assyrians and Babylonians, and they feature prominently in ancient texts and stories but there is no scientific evidence that the Anunnaki were real beings who walked the earth or were extraterrestrial visitors. Sources of Anunnaki stories. The primary source of knowledge about the Anunnaki comes from ancient Mesopotamian cuneiform tablets and texts, which include myths like the Enuma Elish, the Babylonian creation myth, the Epic of Gilgamesh, and various Sumerian texts. In these myths, the Anunnaki play roles as gods who shape the destiny of humans, control natural elements, and sometimes appear as judges of the underworld. These texts are historical artifacts, but they are not scientific evidence of the Anunnaki as real beings. No archaeological evidence. While there is abundant archaeological evidence of ancient Mesopotamian civilizations such as ziggurats, inscriptions and artifacts, there is no physical or scientific evidence that supports the existence of the Anunnaki as extraterrestrial beings or as actual gods who interacted with humans in a literal, physical sense. The remains of Sumerian cities and temples are important for understanding their culture, but they don't provide proof of the Anunnaki as historical figures. Zechariah Sitchin's theories. The modern notion that the Anunnaki might have been extraterrestrial visitors from another planet stems largely from the work of Zechariah Sitchin, an author and proponent of ancient astronaut theories. In his books, Sitchin reinterpreted Sumerian texts to suggest that the Anunnaki were extraterrestrials who came to Earth from a planet called Nibiru and genetically engineered humans to serve as laborers. However, Sitchin's theories have been widely discredited by scholars and experts in ancient languages and archaeology. His translations of Sumerian texts are considered inaccurate, and his interpretations are seen as speculative and lacking solid evidence. Mainstream historians, archaeologists and scientists reject the idea that the Anunnaki were real extraterrestrial beings. Scholarly consensus. Mainstream scholarship regards the Anunnaki as mythological figures, part of the rich religious and cultural framework of ancient Mesopotamia. The myths about the Anunnaki were symbolic stories meant to explain natural phenomena, human existence and the divine order of the universe. Like many ancient mythologies, these stories reflect the beliefs and values of the societies that created them, but are not considered literal history. There is no scientific or archaeological proof that the Anunnaki were real in the sense of being actual gods or extraterrestrials. They exist as a fascinating part of ancient Mesopotamian mythology, and while their stories have sparked the imagination of many people, including proponents of ancient astronaut theories, these ideas are not supported by credible evidence. The Anunnaki remain an important subject in the study of ancient Mesopotamian religion, but as with most mythological beings, they are understood as part of the symbolic and spiritual worldview of the people who believed in them.